Today I'm going to see if this Ergo Mouse is more comfortable than my Magic Mouse. What's happening Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. I have been using the Apple Magic Mouse with my, my Mac Pro for a couple of years. And one of the things that has happened is that I have noticed that my fingers on the edge get cramped because it's pretty shallow and pretty small and I'm kind of grabbing it like this and using my fingers up here to click the buttons and then I am usually hovering this finger here so it gets really stiff because you're always holding it in this awkward position and I don't know if it's like carpal tunnel but just when you are holding something in a position for a really long time it just kind of gets stiff like that it'd be fine if I were an early century British woman drinking tea but it gets annoying. So I thought I would pick up a new mouse to see if it'd be more comfortable. Now this one is actually by Kensington. That's a brand that's been building peripherals for a very, very long time. Comes in this package here. And then you can see this thing is kind of large. And I'm hoping that it will just fit my hand and feel a whole lot better. Now I will show you that here is the mouse itself and it's all plastic. It's actually very light. This gray plastic is just more of a matte finish plastic. You can see we have some buttons on the side. Usually these are like page up, page down, or back buttons. Then we also have another button right there. I think that's usually for changing the DPI. We have a little ball right there, which is actually just a track wheel. So it spins up and down, but does not spin side to side. It feels a little silicone-y. It's got a little bit of grippiness to it. And then we have the two buttons like this. Now we also have some plastic pads on the bottom to slide it around. We have the laser there, and then we have the power button right there. Now I will show you, we can open up the battery compartment. It does come with a AA battery that is wrapped in plastic. So if we put this AA battery in just like this, power back up, now we can turn it on, laser light goes on. And in the plastic here, we have the little USB receiver. So it is gonna take up a USB port on your computer. And I think it's Wi-Fi. I don't think it's Bluetooth. I almost wish it were Bluetooth so that it doesn't take up a port. These can be pretty sparse, especially if you're using this with a laptop, but you can just see how vertical this is. It's kind of more vertical than I was expecting. But what I really wanted is more pad support back here because you don't get any of that with the small magic mouse. So I really wanted it to fill out my hand. And now you can even see, I've got a little ledge right here where my pinky can rest and sit so it can be supported and it feels pretty good. Now the reason I picked this up is because I was putting my hand on my desk in a natural comfortable state and I was looking at pictures and I felt like this was closest to my natural hand position and it fits in my hand pretty well. I don't have a death grip on this at all and everything just feels very natural. Now what I think will be a little weird is that normally I'm used to clicking on this plane so that it's very flat but I will be clicking on a more vertical plane and hopefully I will just get used to moving this around here. So what I wanna do is go ahead and get this set up with my computer and try it out and see what I think. All right, so I've been using this mouse a little while and I can tell you that it's so much more comfortable than the Magic Mouse. It's just, you can grab it like this. Now, there are a couple of drawbacks to this and one of them is that it just stands a little taller and so I have had a tendency in my first few days to kind of knock it off actually because you're not used to uh, not being able to wave your arm. You know, you can see it's like, I don't know, like three inches tall almost. So I have definitely knocked it around a little bit and that's probably something you're gonna do until you realize that there's something on your desk that stands a little taller. But it's super comfortable and it works very, very well. As you can see here, um, it is moving the mouse with no problem. Now, one of the things that I wanna show you here is the scrolling. So one of the problems though is because this little wheel here kind of moves in steps, it's not, like a free flowing wheel. And the difference with the Magic Mouse is you would just drag your finger on the mouse itself. Because this moves like that, what you get is just a little bit of like a stutter to the scrolling. So normally if I were moving this with the Magic Mouse, it would just slide as much as I move my finger on the Magic Mouse. But because I am using this, you will see that it kind of just jumps. And it's not like it's, inaccurate it's just less smooth that's really the big difference here you know so that's one thing 
Now, the last thing is that because it uses a USB port on my computer, it's just taking up a port. Now, it's not the end of the world, but I know ports are kind of important and they go quickly between flash drives and external mics and hard drives and all that. So I would have really preferred this to be Bluetooth, but it does not appear to be. In fact, it just appears to only work via that Wi-Fi USB port. So uh, those things aside, I like it and it's really kind of saving my hand and it feels a lot better in my hand than the Magic Mouse did. And those are some of the trade-offs. But if you want to pick up this Kensington, I think your hand will appreciate it. I'll put a link to it in the description below. Peter Von Panda, out.